Well, hello everybody. Mr. Sam back again with another video guitar lesson. And uh, today we're going to work on learning the A chord and the full B7 chord. I've taught you a small B7 for the blues where you're picking with your two fingers and this is going to be a, a, a full B7. But we'll start out with the A chord now. Make sure your guitar is in tune and you can always Shut the video off and start it up again once you get your guitar in tune. And it's a beautiful snowy day here, January 8th, here in the South Toe Valley, and uh, I'm down here in my little studio. Let's look at that A chord. And that will go with a lot of things in the key of E, and I taught you the E chord earlier. So the A chord is usually played like this. Look at this. You take your well, I'll start with my first finger, my index finger. It goes on the fourth string, second fret. Then your middle finger goes on the third string, second fret. And your ring finger goes on the second string. They're all on that second fret. They're kind of at an angle like that. And you pluck the fifth string. Now there are a lot of ways of playing that A chord actually. You see you want all three of those held down. Some people play it with one finger right there and they go. Fifth strum, sixth strum, fifth strum, sixth strum. The most common way is this, where you've got those three fingers right there together. You can also do it this way. Look at this. If you feel more comfortable, you can put your index finger on the third string, your ring finger on the second, and your middle finger up on the fourth. As long as you've got those three held down, a lot of the old time players would play it like this. And you're leaving your first string open, your fifth string open, and your sixth string open. Now that's the A chord. You can take your time on that. As long as that second, third, and fourth string are all held down on that second fret. You've got it. Now for the B7 chord, which I'm going to go into now, that's a little different. When I taught you the B7 before, I had you put your index finger up here and your ring finger down here. Let's see, I'm losing my pick here up on the windowsill. There it is. So I'm going to go to that blues style. I went like this. Five, one, two, one, five, one, two, one. Thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger. Just got those two, that first and that fifth string held down. Well, what we're going to do for the full B7 chord is we're going to take our index finger, put it on the fourth string, first fret. We're going to take our middle finger, put it on the fifth string, second fret, ring finger, third string, second fret, pinky on our first string, second fret, and we're going to go. Plucking five strum, four strum, five strum, four strum, or I might go five strum, six strum, five strum. Let's get a good look at that there. I'll start to show you how I make it here. Index finger, 
fourth string, middle finger, fifth string, second fret, ring finger, third string, second fret, and pinky, first string, second fret, and that index finger is on the first fret. Anyway, you can work on that. Now I'll show you something else that's kind of interesting. When we're playing that finger style, when you're up here at that ninth fret when you're going, that's actually an A chord too. And this is when you're up at the 11th fret, that's a B, B7 chord. There's a lot of ways of doing that. Well, have fun with your guitar.